Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In this video I will show you how I made these slides in PowerPoint using the morph and the push transition. I also added some buttons to make it interactive and get this super cool effect. But before we go in, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button. So by default you're gonna get these guidelines here, but you can just um, drag them up to get rid of them. We just need the vertical guide at the moment and then I'm just gonna download a couple of images here that I got from Unsplash and I like them because they're very similar and they're gonna help us achieve this super super cool effect. And you just have to drag them to your composition. So on the left hand side I'm gonna put the snow mountains and you just have to click on crop from the top menu and just drag the handles all the way to the edges of the slide and then just click on fill from the drop down menu so the image will take the whole space of your um, composition. And I just repeated the process with the second image and I'm just gonna put it on top of the first image. Now we're gonna select the second image, go to crop and we're gonna drag the left handle all the way to the middle of the slide. And now let's duplicate that slide with Ctrl D and then let's click on the desert image, go to crop and you're gonna drag this handle here all the way out to the gray area. And now let's go back to the first slide, again Ctrl D to duplicate and then just drag it after that other slide. And now we're gonna select the snow mountains image, go to picture format, click on crop and drag this handle all the way to the gray area on the left. Now select the other image, go to crop again and drag this handle all the way to the left edge of the slide. And now we're gonna select the three slides, go to transitions and click on morph. And that's pretty much how you achieve these split effect. But now let's create the rest of the slide. So I just inserted a blank slide and to get the color of the background to match with your image, just right click format background and you can just pick the color with the eyedropper tool and then you can just get rid of the, of the image. Again, Ctrl D to duplicate that slide and we're gonna repeat the process. So you go to format background and then click on the bucket here, click on the eyedropper tool and that's how you can get the same color. Now I'll start inserting my content. So for this one, I'm just gonna add like a title and maybe some sort of description because this essentially will be kind of like our menu. And once you're happy with how the content looks on your first slide, it's time to design the button. So you go to insert and insert around a rectangle with this yellow dot here. You can round even more the edges and then let's add a shape outline. So here I picked black and for the fill color, I'm gonna choose white. And if you double click on the shape, you can write in it. So here I just added the word explore, then right click format shape. And from the fill panel, you can change a little bit the transparency. I think that at the moment it is a little bit big, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller. And then if you hold control on your keyboard and drag it to the other side, that's how you can duplicate the button. And then again, for the slides with images, I'm just gonna add a title. I'm gonna add a description. I'm gonna add um, a little image here, but it's basically the same layout. Now we need to create the back button. So I'm just gonna copy the one from the first slide and I'm just gonna put it on the third slide here and I just change the text to back. For these lights, I just created like three description boxes here and I just added like three images, uh, very basic layouts, but I think they look very interesting. And now it's time to apply the transition. So for the second slide, just make sure that Morph is already activated there. And for the fourth slide as well, let's click on Morph. For the third slide, let's click on push. And for the fifth slide, let's click on push as well. Now, the way that I did the animations is actually from my animation gallery template. 
If you haven't seen that video, go check it out because I explain in detail uh, how to use this template and even like how to use the animations yourself. And now to add the action to the button, you just have to select the button, go to insert, click on actions and then hyperlink to. And for this one, I'm going to select first slide because it's the button that goes back. And then you can just copy that button and paste it into the fifth slide and you can change the color of the outline. You can change the color of the text. So the contrast is a little bit better. And now let's go back to the first slide. And for this button here, I'm going to go to insert actions and hyperlink will be to a slide in particular. So I just click on slide and I select the slide number three click on OK. And then for this one, I'm going to repeat the process, but I'm going to link it to slide number four. So hyperlink, slide, slide number four. Now let's add an icon. So I'll just go to insert icons. And here I'm just going to look for arrow. And I'm going to select um, this ones here, I'm going to select insert. And with the icon selected, just click on convert to shape. And I'm just going to rotate it, get rid of this one here, because I think that the three would be too much. So I'm just going to leave it with two. And I'm just adding this um, little icon here to show like the navigation. It won't work as a link, but I think it looks really cool. And that's pretty much it. That's how I made these slides in PowerPoint. And you can really play with the images that you put. Um, so I'm excited to see how you use this tutorial for your own project. When you tag me on Instagram or TikTok, I always watch your videos and I always comment. So make sure to do that. My animations template is available to download on lurutiappt.comro.com and remember to enter the giveaway, it's on the quick animations for PowerPoint video. Once again, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe, to follow me on Instagram, on TikTok and I will see you in my next video.